welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you all joining me in today's video. And as you guys can see, we have my 2018 Ford F-150 XL. If you're not impaired of the vision, you can see that we have some different color schemes going on over here. That's because we have some cheetah wrap sandstone, I believe is the name of the color, on this side. And then we have obviously the factory Oxford white chilling on the front. But more importantly, folks, we are, we're messing with that today, guys. Well, you can kind of see a little remnants over here, but it used to be satin black. These, as you already know, are your standard basic mirrors. This is an XL, so of course, it's uh, it's blacked out. It's not color matching or anything like that. Very generic, very simple style. So this might be a little tough with one hand. I'll see if I can, okay, boom. Look at that, folks. We got ourselves some tow mirrors for the F-150. Now let's go ahead and plop one of these suckers out here. Might need some, oh yeah. Yep, 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 they got, they got a little bit of weight to them, folks. They are a little, oh yeah, they're a little heavy. I won't lie, guys. This is the driver's side, ah, damn it. This is the driver's side, I'm so afraid to drop these. Look at that size comparison, folks. These things are massive compared to the, uh, the factory ones over here. And they should be plug and play. There's our, uh, right here's our standard plug. That's our eight pin plug. That of course is for F-150s, the XLs and the XLTs. I think above that trim, you're going to need the other version of these that has the plug. You know, ones that has like that puddle lights, the uh, heated mirror option, all the bells and whistles. This is for the basic XLs and XLTs. When I do vinyl wrap this door, I am going to remove the door handle, this window trim. That's obviously gonna give us a chance to remove the old vinyl wrap. And then as well, the uh, original mirrors all together. Plus shipping and taxes came out to like 230, which is pretty dang cheap. The quality on these things is pretty good actually. This mirror has additional features that your truck wouldn't normally come with. We'll see if we pop this plastic off. We got these directional little turn lights. You could always just plug it into the uh, standard. There's you, there you go. Quick plug and play. Let me turn these suckers around because, uh, oh, we got a puddle light, look at that. We got a puddle light, folks. Not only that, but we also got uh, outside outside turn signal. So these things, let me just say, those are those are like the fully loaded mirrors that you can get. And this is the base mirror. Apart from just being able to adjust these from the inside, that's all it does, guys. So we'll see what else we have in the box. Cardboard. Oh, we got some, uh, some nuts. And it looks like we got some uh, quick connects. I feel like that's what we're gonna need to assemble our wiring harness for the uh, turn signal directional things. I, I'm assuming, I haven't looked at this thing. Uh, I haven't read the instructions. I think we do have instructions. We got a little wiring diagram. We got red is our little puddle lights. We got puddle LED, look at that, that's pretty dope. Uh, white is clearance lights and then gray is spot auxiliary lights. And then of course we have the standard eight pin plug, which is basically this sucker right over here. That's your basic eight pin plug. They were gracious enough to give us wiring. Very nice and easy to use. Let's move on to removal of your old lights. That is very simple. I know I kind of jumped the gun here, folks. This is how your truck would normally be. All you have to do is pry this bad boy out. All I did, I use my hands, very easy to use. Just, it's just these little pressure clips. Four, two pressure clips really. That will expose your eight pin connector right over here. And then we have one, one, two, three, four, 10 mil that needs to be removed. Uh, and then obviously unplug the eight pin connector it should just be like a little a little pressure clip here there you go real easy and then your mirror should come right out but of course 
you also need to remove your door card uh, because we need to access the well I need to do it to remove the door handle for for the vinyl wrap but if you want to use those additional features puddle lights the little turn signal all that good stuff then you will have to remove the door hand the door card but to remove the door card fairly simple you have this little cover over here that's in here you just got to start from the top pry out and little clips on the top clips at the bottom that's it that'll come right out then you have to remove this uh, door handle cover that's all it is pressure clips guys i did it from the bottom this is on this side so that would go in through there you would unclip it pull out that's it next up we have in one in there two three four five and then six. Oh, that's missing oh crap and seven yep and then you'll be able to pry out the door card guys all right peeps situation update it's dark I got the mirror out, and as you guys can tell, here's the old wrap. Now, this is a lesson for uh, future future me. I did all of this, guys. Not necessary. All this is covered up by the trim. I could literally stop right over here and just trim it off. So that in future, when I do take off this wrap, it won't leave these little remnants. These little bits over here. So that's just a little uh, future advice for myself. I have w literally one more bolt which is that guy in there in order for me to remove the uh, door handle door card is released passenger side mirror is released and I believe if I'm not mistaken you're gonna have to tap into one of these wires well actually uh, multiple wires here in order to use the functions the puddle lights the uh, turn signal whatever you know all this stuff guys it's gonna have to I'm assuming these provided wires tap into these things and I have this over here these are T splice uh, wire connectors a lot better than the, the quick connectors that they have guys look at this look at that we got the passenger side tow mirror installed these things look absolutely beautiful. We can compare these two mirrors side by side. We obviously got my factory standard, uh, no power, no nothing, nothing cool about those regular mirrors. And then we have the very cool, very awesome tow mirrors, guys. Those things look absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and get closer to these bad boys. Now, as you all know, this isn't, this aren't, they're telescopic, because, ah, look at that, right now. We'll keep them closed in because I do like that. So that's that's fair. That's a good, it's a good distance right now. But as I said, these things ain't power, so they don't fold in automatically. They are still manual. There we go. You can kind of see the little directional arrow over here for our turn signals. Uh, puddle lights. This is supposed to be a spotlight, and then these two are supposed to light up the strip. Uh, however. I haven't done that guys, but I did wire up the puddle light. Look at that. I know it's daytime right now, so you can't really see much, but this I believe is the spot and this I believe is auxiliary light. And then this one is the puddle light, the red one. That one we hooked up and I kind of read this online guys. I think there's probably a better option out there, but what I tapped into, see if I can focus. I tapped into the uh, gray with violet, that purple and gray cable, guys. The other stuff I read is that you're supposed to run the cable through here and through this grommet, run it, fish it out through here and into the uh, one of the wiring harnesses, one of the main ones in here. Um, I'm not going to do all that. I literally just stole it from this junction box over here. Uh, it's the purple with the gray. I'm going to power up these other two so you guys can see what else this mirror does if it's properly installed. So we got my key fob here. We're gonna go ahead and unlock this thing. There you go, we got nice directional lights. And then you saw these two over here, two little LEDs lit up, guys. Look at that. So again, this is tapping into that violet and gray cable. We're gonna go ahead and turn on uh, what I assume 
if I remember correctly, is the, um, I don't know, we'll find it. We'll, we're about to find out which one the gray one is again. And we'll peep this out here. Oh, and there it is. Nice additional amber lights. Looks beautiful. I don't know if they're supposed to be constantly running. Maybe if you have um, the daytimes running. Plop that one off and try the white one here now. Okay, I think we're making contact. And there we go. That is that light. Little spotlight. You have the nice uh, clearance markers and then the puddle light. I, for one, if you guys can help me out, don't know where I would wire the uh, the amber clearance lights and then the spotlight. Which, by the way, guys, is pretty dang bright. And again, folks, I tapped into my factory harness. I really do not like when I do this, especially a harness from the from the manufacturer, guys. I, I don't like it. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. I did it enough on the headlights, on the aftermarket headlights and grill that I have, so I already got PTSD from doing this, guys. That is it for our aftermarket tow mirrors, guys. Absolutely love them. Very budget friendly. The only thing I wish I had was the automatic retracting on these mirrors because it does get kind of annoying sometimes having to push, push in both mirrors in a tight parking spot. Um, but that's about it guys everything else I love it now having had these things for six months everything's still good no issues yet in case you're curious on how I wired them I basically only wired up the puddle light I didn't bother doing the uh, amber markers or the spotlight simply because there's just already too many lights on the front of this thing so there you have it tow mirrors Gotta love it.